Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss what is Apollonius theorem. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now before moving on to the Apollonius theorem, we should know what is a median. So median of a triangle is nothing but a line joining from the opposite vertex to the base of the triangle and it divides the base into two equal halves. So if I name the triangle as A, B and C, then the median AD divides the opposite side BC into equal halves. So same as AD, BE also divides AC into two equal halves and CF also divides AB into equal halves. So done with the topic of median, let's move on to the Apollonius theorem. So over here we have taken a triangle ABC with the medians as AD, BE and CF respectively and the length of the sides BC is A, the length of the side AB is C and that of AC is equal to B. And according to the Apollonius theorem, if the length of the median AD is equal to M, then we can say that B square plus C square is equal to twice of M square plus A by 2 whole square. So this equation b square plus c square is equal to 2 times m square plus a by 2 whole square is known as the Apollonius theorem. So with the help of Apollonius theorem we can calculate the length of the median for any given triangle given that all the lengths of the sides are given. Now with the help of this theorem we can calculate the length of all the three medians. So suppose if I take the length of BE as n then I can say that c square plus a square is equal to twice of n square plus b by 2 whole square. I hope that you are clear with the Apollonius theorem and let's solve a simple problem so that this concept will be more clear to you. So in the question we are given an isosceles triangle with the equal sides as 4 cm and the base as 5 cm. So we can name the triangle as ABC and we have to calculate the length of the median with respect to the vertex A. Now according to the Apollonius theorem we can say that B square plus C square is equal to twice of M square plus A by 2 whole square. So we just have to put the value of B, C and A in this equation and we will get the length of the median M. So the value of P is equal to 4 so B square is equal to 16. The value of C is also equal to 4 so C square is equal to 16 and the value of m is what we have to calculate and the value of a is equal to 5 so the value of a by 2 whole square is equal to 2.5 whole square. So now in LHS portion we have 32 and in RHS we have 2 times m square plus 6.25. Now 2 and 32 will get cancelled so we will be left with 16 in LHS portion so m square is equal to 16 minus 6.25 and which is equal to 9.75. So the value of m square has come out to be 9.75 so the value of m is equal to under root of 9.75. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there. And all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.